and welcome to episode three of the Squadcast, the official podcast of Glasgow Warriors. My name is Craig Wright. Thank you again to everybody who has sent in their feedback on the first two episodes, including somebody who suggested that we just change the hat every week. So any hat sponsors out there, feel free to jump us in and, and sort us out. I'm joined once again by our co-host for the day, Mr. Murphy Walker. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. How's the Lovely. how's life? You brought the vest back again, is he? Yeah, vest back. It's a weekly tradition for a Tuesday. It's a weekly tradition it's an for upper Tuesday. Upper body day, you see. E- even when it's I don't even know what temperature is outside, but it was sideways rain for most of the morning. So yeah, it was pretty chilly. Yeah, did, did, were you outside in that? No, area? thankfully not. I kept this strictly for gym and only gym. Fair enough. Would you like to introduce our, our guest today? Since just before we came on air, you decided that you were calling him your scrum dad. Yeah, this is uh, we've got the scrum guru, in, self-proclaimed scum, <laughs> scrum guru. That was Petrus uh, DPC, it wasn't me. It's Xander Fagerson. Welcome. Hey guys, thanks for having me. Pl- oh. Pleasure to be here. How are you? Pleasure's all ours. We're very well. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So uh, yeah, welcome to the scru- welcome to the squadcast. You, how are you liking the setup so far? It's the easiest place to go. It's great. Yeah, R- really casual, you know, and um, professional with with the mics and uh, yeah, Murph Murph with the vest. Bringing the vibes. So yeah. I'm enjoying it, yeah. Thank goodness it's radio, not, not a show. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Correct. I don't have a vest on. For we'll, that we'll get the we'll get the down the down part of the, the show out first. Um obviously you're in the squad in, in Swansea on Saturday afternoon. Not the result we wanted, but what was the, the message coming out of the, the change rooms after that one? Yeah, it was, it was a tough day at the office. Um Yeah, I think we we, we played in the right area sometimes and yeah, it's inconsistent. You know, we, we had our chances, just didn't take them. So, looking back on what we didn't do well, um, they put us under pressure and took their chances. And Keelan Giles, yeah, he's pretty fast. So, <laughs> two good finishes from him, and um, we're down. So, no, it wasn't good enough from us. Um, you know, after a really good win against Cardiff, we just wanted to put that marker down away. But, yeah, um, got a big game this week. So, going to have to bounce back and lick our wounds and we go again. So we've got a good game plan this week for the Bulls at home, which will be another different, a difficult challenge, um, but one that I think we're up for and yeah, looking forward to putting back in front of our fans. Like the media professional you are, you've just stolen my next question, which is obviously we don't have an <laughs> awful lot of time to to wait until we, we try and put that right. Obviously the Bulls, the Vodacom Bulls here uh, on Saturday night, 7.35 kickoff, tickets still available at glasgowarriors.org. Plug. Plug. Please come and buy our tickets and support the boys. Please um, buy us Please, tickets. yeah, please come support the boys. Like I think the Cardiff, you know, um, it was yeah, unbelievable to be back at home after I think it was seven months, you know, and putting smiles on faces, you know, and just um uh, yeah, absolutely awesome to be back. So it'd be incredible to see you all there again on the on Saturday night. But Obviously the, the other reason you enjoyed Cardiff so much is your, your acrobatic finish under the posts. Was there go 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 gadget <laughs> arms under the, the sticks in front of the in front of the West Stand. He ruined his record at the weekend, you know that? I know, yeah. He's on two, yeah. For two for two. Two for two. Three times it's happened. Well, th- three three from three if you include oh, yeah. the game that we don't talk about at the end of last season. Oh yeah, fair. I didn't think of that. Yeah, All right, good. Yeah, now I'll take it. So we're really going four from four in that case then. Um, but yeah, it wasn't to be. Um, well, fingers crossed. Selected uh, this week, you know, get an opportunity to start the tally again. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, like I just said, you know, like, season comes so thick and fast, and we can't take that long to to look um, to go over the game and you know and be down on yourself. So um, you know, tough tough session yesterday, and made sure we reviewed it. But boys in boys in a good spot and. Well, what do we have this morning? We had scrums, scrums and units. And yeah, it's been a good couple. It's been a good couple of days, days you know? already for the yeah, exactly. start of so the week. So bouncing back, boys in a good place, recovered well. So flying into this week and yeah, I'm on the bulls. So just to remind everybody what the, the squad cast is all about. In front of us, we have it's our winter hat today. Um, it's the same hat as last week. We, yep. we haven't rotated the hat again. Um, but in that hat are several squad cast scenarios written on little scraps of paper. Uh, as we Murphy said in episode one, no expense spared whatsoever. None. Your job, Xander, is to, to pick your scenario out of the hat, cool. answer it to the best of your ability, right. and make sure the listeners don't tune out. Sweet, here we go. So number one. Right, first one. Who would be your phone a friend on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That's a good question. That's a great question. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> oh. My friend would be Rob Harley. Sally, he's not with us anymore, but that guy knew the most ridiculous amount of facts. Um, Depends on the topic would be. I think it was common sense, probably not, but (laughs) (laughs) anything factual. um, Yeah, miss miss you, Rob. Yeah, that's I I, I'd go exactly the same. He was insane. Like he would he would find like some obscured facts that he'd come out with. Even like not even just like sitting at the table, it'd be like while training. I know. I I I genuinely thought he was top of the moon because like I (laughs) (laughs) I I think he knew the same amount of facts as him. 
I would yeah. say, has anybody ever seen Rob and Mr. Well, of the Moon in yeah, the same exactly. place at the same time? Wow, well, correct, yeah. Probably could be the pen as well, who knows? <laughs> Probably should jump in. If, if, if either the pen or the top of the moon are listening to this, please confirm or deny that you are Rob Harding, <laughs> just for the sake of saying around. But just give us an insight. Obviously, we, we know from years of watching Rob uh, around the training pitch and all that sort of stuff. What, what sort of stuff was he like off the pitch? You say, oh, you say, you say he knows everything. He's but an absolute legend. Like, yeah. When I first met him, I was like... Bit of a weird dude when you right? first meet him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was just because I was, I was like a cami boy and like he was just... Give me a few weird stares and stuff, or like try and not just didn't want to speak to me. But yeah, as I got to know him, um, yeah, really good mate of mine. Um, but no, just give 100% every training session, every game. You cannot fault that man for not giving 100%. And uh, yeah, just off the pitch, just loved the game of cards, loved a bit of crack. Um, but yeah, we just come up with some, it was more like classic stuff. Like he loved it, he loved the debate. Yeah. So if you said it, you said a statement, he would actually be like, well, no, Xander, actually, that's factually incorrect. This is actually what happened. I'd be like, how do you know about that? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think he's got a degree. Has he got a degree in classics? Yeah, so, he yeah. did. Yes. degree in classics. So um, yeah, very, very smart man. Yeah. There was a story doing the rounds. I don't know whether you, either of you were in the squad with it, but he was, uh, he was reading French classic literature on the plane down to an away game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was before. I, would, your times or I don't, I've never heard of that one, but I, I believe it fully. Oh, 100% believe it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Just bring it back to us as, as much as we, we love Rob and, Hope to see him back at Scotland at some point in the not too distant future when he's finished taking over France with Carcassonne. Yeah, correct. Who, who in the current squad would be your oh. your millionaire lifeline? That's, so when you were speaking about Rob, I was trying to think of intelligent folk in the squad. <laughs> <We're> struggling, <laughs> I'm struggling. Scraping the barrel. <laughs> um, yeah, I was trying. I'm trying to think who's got who's done uni. Arty. And oh, he, see, yeah. he springs to mind purely. He's come up in the yeah, squadcast. He's, so he's, uh, he's he's uh, he's come up in the squadcast a few times, but he's the only one that I can think off the top of my head. Intelligent, um, biz, uh, book wise. Book, book wise, yeah, he's book smart. Yeah, book smart. I'm trying to think of others. But like random facts, like yeah. Depend, depend, as I said, depends on the topic would be. Yeah. You know, like what could it be? Like if it was sport, I'd probably go Johnny Matthews. Very good like football, yeah. f- football yeah. stuff. Yeah. Especially yeah. if it's unbelievable. Yeah, correct. Yeah. 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 I'm on the boys in blue. Um, <laughs> but yeah, any football facts, John would be there. Um, if it was something like maths, take the money and run. Who'd you go? <laughs> Who? Uh, Richard Gray. Correct. He's, Engineer. He's the maths right. bottom. He's, he's smart. He's smart. He's smart. Yeah, I go Richard. Yeah, Richard's a good call. Richard. Yeah. Overall. Um, overall general knowledge would be pretty up there as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Nice. You agree with that? I do. Yes! Are we right. on to question numero dos? Into the hat we go. He's under unfolding the paper as well. Oh, this is tough unfolding. I'll tell you that. Right. Who makes the best coffee and who never makes one? Ah, here we go. We, we got the first, the first repeat. <laughs> yeah, the first repeat question. We're we're see, we're 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 let's see if he shares answer. the same thoughts as I do. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll keep his thoughts. Who makes the best coffee? I know for a fact that he spends more time on the make it in the kitchen making coffees than he does training his Domingo. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If his milk's not one hundred percent right, he'll restart start it again, do it again. Um, and he makes a, he makes pretty good latte art. I was gonna say, um, is, it, is it good? Yeah, is it high quality? Good. Yeah, yeah. Him and Seb, um, the Argentinian boys, you always find them after training, you know, um, perfecting their latte art, doing tulips and love hearts and stuff. So now he makes <laughs> good coffee. Um, who never makes one? <sighs> Sammy Johnson and not uh, Sione. Just because they always, if someone's like, oh, yeah, can I want you? Sure, yeah, no worries. Um, it's good teammates, make them one. Um, I've never seen Sony <laughs> make one. You? I was, well, I've been over it. You've listened to the squadcast, the number one. You know I like hot chocolate, only. But um, Correct, Mocha. Yeah, um, <laughs> we were chatting we chat about the, a bigger gentleman who makes good coffee or seems to make coffee a lot. Oh, yeah, Simon. Yeah, Simon. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, our, our favourite Kiwi. Um, yes. He... Yeah, he, he makes good flour. Right? Yeah. He's a bit of a coffee snob. Yeah. So like, he wouldn't take he wouldn't take like um, like builders brews. He wouldn't have like a Not in Nescafe. Cafe. Yeah. Um, I just I, I just need the caffeine. So I've sort of I used to be a coffee snob, but I've changed now. But no, he first day in the building was like, yeah, the coffee's not good enough. <laughs> we, we had a new machine and we had a new machine and grinder within about a week. So yeah, we had that uh, good on him. tutorial demonstration video yeah, as well yeah. sent into the group chat. He's a stickler for boys not cleaning it, which yeah. is fair. Um, if you, if you can't clean it, can I just say I'll defend Simon on that one because that tutorial video has been an educational process for me yep. this summer. So <laughs> we're can, you okay. make, can you make it flat white now? 
I wouldn't necessarily say that. <laughs> I can I can throw coffee and milk in a mug and yeah. it works. Fair but you can say you're you're quite into your coffee yourself, Sam. I am. Yeah, nah, I, l- I love a good coffee. I think definitely pre kids, I would uh, I'd perfect my <laughs> latte out in the morning and make sure I got like a nice one. And I think now with kids, it's more just get the caffeine into my veins. So, so get um, you through the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many um, are you on before training these days? Oh, I'll be two two before we start. Nice. Yeah, actually, I, it's bad. It is bad. I grew up like dad back in the day. Like we'd be leaving the house early to get to school, and he'd have a full cafetiere. Like, so I'd, I'd be drinking coffee. Doesn't probably. What are you like? What would your most in a day be? Most. If yeah. I have more than four, I get twitchy. Four. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you which part gets twitchy, but it gets twitchy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, your shoulders. Ah, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Start shrugging. Get, yeah. Um, yeah. Four. If I have three in a Red Bull, I have a downer quite bad about five. Jesus. You, you, you don't, you don't, I don't struggle. I don't drink any caffeine. I need to be, really. on, I need to be on the go until eight. You go home from work and you can chill. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm busy. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking after. Dodge, dodge! I'll scratch your leg. <laughs> yeah, oh. I'm busy at it at the flat. You know, tidying up. I've been you know. to your flat. You're not busy at the flat. Yes, I am. <laughs> always busy. Always on my feet doing something. You know, it's not cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, before this gets into a full domestic, if you're looking Correct. for coffee, go to the Argentinians. Yeah. We actually, one of our sponsors last week, to go, Brill Brand, to go to Black Pine Coffee. So um, I was there last week trying to make latte art. And if you watch the video, it wasn't great. But I, it was a different, it. Diff, different machine, you know. I'll, I'll blame it on that. That's it. Um, but yeah, nah, I'm a quaint to a nice flat white in the morning. Keep me going. Nice. Nice. Right. Next one. Round three. Round Crack three. On. Here we go. See what we've got. Oh, jeez, right at the bottom. I'm just glad Love your tape's it. not sticking to the hat, to be honest with you. It's a commitment. Which teammate do you think you'd also be a pro at another sport? So I'll go for two. Okay. You back me up on this. Johnny Matthews could be a footballer, I think. Yeah, I agree. Unbelievable. Johnny talent. comes up a lot with yeah. football-related questions. Just actually. unbelievable skills. Yeah, just a like natural. 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 Yeah. yeah, just lovely touch. Five aside, he takes it very seriously as well. Yeah. As Any like, warm-up involved in a football? Yeah. One touch, you'd be there in the middle. Like, yeah. never, it never gets bums. It never gets me to get pelt over the ball. Yeah. Um, and then the second player probably be probably go George Horn, <laughs> tennis. Yeah. I know from school, George really good all round athlete. So, mum's tennis coach. So yeah, I think he'd be a good tennis player. So you mentioned George's uh, all round ability in episode one. I think. It yeah, was. golfer, um, all sorts. Yeah, it's just consistent. It's yeah. a fly half thing, isn't it? I never met a fly half who can't do golf or like has like that tempo. But like George is never no jealousy whatsoever. Not in that at all, mate. No. <laughs> I know, I know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an endurance athlete. So. No, I mean, to be fair, you and me both there, Xander, to be honest. But Johnny, on, on the football side of things, <coughs> just as but more obviously you say he takes five aside quite quite seriously. Is he uh, out front in midfield? Is he in goal? I'm like a striker. Straight up, yep. Yeah. Dear ever. He, he's literally, does, doesn't leave his half. No. <laughs> he's just one pelters down. <laughs> Lovely touch. Bit bit of ball control and he going for goal every time. I can see that. Yeah. He took a couple of penalties, I remember, last year when we did a wee bit of a warm-up game of just a bit of football. It always usually end in a nil-nil draw after about <laughs> 10 minutes, so we always have to resort back to some penalties. I remember Johnny absolutely nailing one of the top bins. Yeah, um, yeah unstoppable. So mm. that would be Johnny would be the professional footballer. Fair and then, as you say, Dodd. George Horn, golfer or Golfer tennis. or tennis, yeah. Who would you rather play against? Would you rather be on a, the opposite team to Johnny at football or would you rather be on the other side of the net to George at, at tennis? <laughs> you're, oh. I know you're terrible at both, so <laughs> <laughs> I can play tennis. Just you get, you get me two, three sets, and I start to fade. Um, me, and Matt, me, and Matt used to have a good few, good few yeah. games in preseason. Um, yeah, What's tennis. Uh, yeah, tennis. Yeah, now nah, you know the thing is the thing is with tennis is you get a dodgy AC, you can't serve anymore. <laughs> so I got the old underarm. The Coming from, from the your tennis underarm. expert. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I could have been Andy Murray. Uh, nah, joking. <laughs> uh, probably football. Yeah. Yeah. Just take take Johnny's knees. That'll be fine. <laughs> so you're, you're the, you're the centre back in the scenario. Nice. I've got two left feet, so I'm not good at football. Or, or dancing. I can dance. <laughs> I don't know. He can dance if he wants he's to. He's the sweatiest dancer you'll ever see. Uh, calories burnt, boys. He's all he's all he's focused about on that dance floor is getting that calories burnt, getting <laughs> making sure that when he gets home he can make space for that McDonald's or whatever he's taking <laughs> in. Um, but yeah, sweatiest man I've ever seen on the dance floor. And for behind the scenes footage, go to Warriors HQ episode <laughs> three coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see it. Warriors! All right, Xander. Number four. Next one. Another one. Here you go. Let's Sorry, go. here we go. Moving on. Make it exciting. I know. Great handwriting, by the way. Who is the best chat and who is the worst chat? 
Can I, Worst shot. That before you go any further, that might be the first time I've ever been complimented on handwriting. So oh, thank really? you for that. Yeah. Oh no, very nice. I'll take that. Hold on, before he answers this, just remember what the question I do remember exactly yeah. what your answer was to yeah, this okay. one. Yeah, Carry so on, this could Gander. be fun. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Have you said for me for either one of these? I don't know. Just our oh, friendship's gone. <laughs> um, worst chat, Jack Dempsey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I said somebody similar to that. Who? <laughs> Sione, when he does the. Yeah, oh, they do this bang. Yeah, it's just yeah, annoying. That, that stuff. Yeah, so one of those is. And then best <laughs> chat. Why are you having to think hard? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sat right in front of you. That's <laughs> definitely not more. Um, best chat. Oh, jeez. Who can we say? Do you know what makes me laugh? Just because he just makes yeah. me laugh. Greg, Gregor Brown. Gregor Brown. Yeah, it's Sherman. Funny to look at. Funny to look at, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say best chat, but it just always makes me laugh. <laughs> just raises the spirits. Yeah, the Shermanator. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Sean Kennedy. Good S crack. Sheeb's, Sheeb's great crack, yeah. actually. Great crack. It's not many boys actually, actually got bad crack. Um... But nah, do you know? Do you know? I always find he always got a nice morning welcome. We've already mentioned him on the podcast, Johnny Matthews. Yeah, ne ne never a day's gone by where he's not said, "Morning, mate. How are you?" Like with a smile on his face and genuine mean it. He does always it. usually seem to be in a pretty decent mood. Yeah, he's always he's a great. Because he's got that hours drive from Edinburgh to get all happy and cheery. And his passengers sometimes aren't always happy and cheery. So, <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, yeah, Johnny Matthews. Or okay, Johnny, Johnny Matthews and Shuba. Murphy, do you want to do you want to compare and contrast with your answers? Though? Who, who, yeah, who are you? <laughs> Talk to well, me. funnily enough, <laughs> in Squadcast number one, the worst chat was a pair of you and Matt. <laughs> who was that? What? Who said that? That was Craig. Craig said that. that I cannot believe that I had been thrown under <laughs> the bus there, having just driven the bus over. Was you and Smithers? And was that you and Smithers? If it is, I'm quite upset with that. Um, it was just myself actually. <laughs> no, nobly taking the bullet there for. His who did, I can't remember who I said best chat though. Do you know what? I actually can't remember who you said either. Need but, to go back and listen to episode one. Yeah, I'll have to recap that. But um, yeah, Xander knows he's got terrible chat, so that's so, why we've got him on today. Is that Xander Ferguson leaving the squadcast? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you've got scrum drills later on. You can take him out. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think we've covered a good good amount of uh, people there. I don't yeah. know. Right, next question. Yeah. What is Murphy Walker Skinfolds? <laughs> Over back, 140. <laughs> <laughs> Pick one teammate you wouldn't want to be stuck on a desert island with. You wouldn't? Wouldn't want to be. Yeah. I mean, you can go with wood if you want as well. If you want to go on a positive spin there, Murphy. But... Go both, Xander. Go go. Have a think of both. <sighs> Completely nothing on this island if, except for a tree. And you've got to make conversation with them. <laughs> Jack Dempsey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, nothing against Jack. Just like, I know like... <laughs> he would be positive and he also wouldn't be up for chatting he just, he just want to sit there and do nothing so yeah and then who would I would mm. I feel like it's, after this the, the two of you on a desert island could be an interesting yeah interesting know, last man standing two go on one comes off <laughs> Xander just eat everything and leave you with nothing <laughs> come back starving people in glass houses <laughs> <laughs> who would oh I think what's what are good skills to have when you're stuck on a so that's where my that's where my there as scout. Well. You ever scout? I've never done scouting. I was in the boys' brigade. So you were. <laughs> Doesn't really count for much. Who knows how to start a fire? Oh. That would be my first one. Josh McKay. Josh McKay. Yes. Hunter, hunter gatherer. Yeah, Josh would 100%. be a solid shout there. Yeah. Good crack as well. Great um, show. Yeah, he'd, he'd, just keep, he'd probably look after you as well. Yeah, he would. He'd, he'd catch and kill everything and you just have to eat it. It'd be great. And then, you just sit on the beach all day while he's... I know, mate. He'd, he'd spin some yarns. Yeah. Good boy. That's a good great boy, show. Good hunter. Yeah. Jack, Josh McKay, easy. That's Hands down. He'd be fish all day. Big time. That'd be a diet. Deep, deep sea fashion. Fish right. and probably <laughs> coconut. <laughs> Last one. Oh, you're, going, you're going up straight away. One more? Yeah, one why more? not? Yeah, go for it. Let's go, go for it. Here we go. Last one. Right in. So quirky. Let's go. <laughs> Which coach are you calling if your car breaks down? I've answered this one already, so. Who did you say? I'm not going to tell you. I don't want to um, give you any some preconceptions of who I thought. Coach or management? That's coach. my question. Now, just see, that, coach. Z Xander's been around the block enough to know that, that that was the question to ask first yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. well, we yeah. went just purely rugby coach. Anything to do with rugby, coaching-wise? 
I'm probably called Dicko. Yeah. That's exactly who I said. Front row union sticking probably together. Yeah, right? But no, it, as a farm, knows what he's doing with, yeah. with the engines and stuff. And See? also, <laughs> he's, up, he's up early on the farm. The kids, he'd be there in a heartbeat, yeah. I said this to the other boys when we were reviewing the squadcast and Ollie was like, I would always say March hands down for anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like this might be might just be an insight into how how you each try and please the areas of yeah maybe no not at all no genuinely I think like if, uh, well I'd, I'd like to think anyone you'd see Dicko coming down the road in his big uh, big white yeah, transit van exactly tools in the back he'd put you in he'd put the heaters on you sit there he'd fix it you go yeah Mer- merch would come out call the AA <laughs> 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 nah joking nah, that's harsh on merch interesting on your your line since you were asking whether it's coaches or management who's your who's your other option Stuart Dow. Stuart Dow. He's a f- he seems to be the fixer of everything. Yeah, the, the man needs something the done. The he needs something done. He's I know. He's got it. Yeah, he does seem to have that well. He's connected ex, as well. I was gonna say ex policeman. He seems know. to know these. Yeah, he's just he'd call. He'd be like, oh yeah, no so and so. I know this guy. Guys, no worries, mate. I'll put you in. So and a lot. You trust a lot of the management. Nah, shizzle management. Yeah, I, I wing trust, nizzle. Trust shizzle. Wing nizzle. Wing nizzle. Um, <laughs> dizzle rizzle. Shizzle. Yeah, he'd come in the van. Probably put you in the back of the van. That'd be it. For new listeners, that's Dougie Mills, our kit man. Yep. Yeah, Dougie Mills, Dougie. legend. Um, uh, who else? Colin. Yeah, I'd call Colin. Easy. Colin, our groundskeeper, he's great guy as well. Must be handy with those machines. Tools easy. Machines. Yeah. Um, so a lot of management, but specifically with the coaches, it would have to be Dicko and our shared opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and for more front row union, tune in. At a future episode. Yeah. 100%. There you go. Scrums, malls, and pick and goes. And on that very forward friendly note, I must say, we will call an end to episode three of the Squadcast. My thanks to Xander for his time today. Yeah. Very much appreciate it. Enjoy going out and settling things with Murphy after this. <laughs> I'll make sure me a coffee and a cake now, don't worry. I'll, <laughs> I'll make sure to share some videos of him dancing so the yeah, Warrior Nation no can worries. see. Thanks, guys. Appreciate, appreciate Thank me having me on. Murphy, until until next time. Yeah, next time. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys Saturday, 7.30. Be there. Xander stole my plug, but go do it. <laughs> anyway, I've been Craig Wright. He's been Xander Fagerson. He's been Murphy Walker. And this has been the Glasgow Warriors Squadcast. Yeah.